Hello friends. Today we will learn about Snowflake Warehouse. This will be a hands-on session and we will focus on what is Snowflake Warehouse, how to create it from Snowflake UI and SQL, and what is Snowflake Warehouse pricing. So to start, uh, we will go on this uh, Snowflake official documentation page and we will try to understand what is a Snowflake virtual warehouse. So uh, as per the documentation uh, and as per the architecture of Snowflake, the Snowflake cloud architecture separates data warehousing into three distinct functions. The first is compute resources, which is also known as uh, virtual warehouse. So this compute resources are basically implemented as virtual warehouses. The second is the data storage and third is the cloud services. So today we'll be focusing on the first one uh, in this video, uh, which is the virtual warehouses. So we'll understand as to what is a virtual warehouse. A virtual warehouse is one or more compute clusters that enable customers to execute queries, load data, and perform other DML operations. So uh, if we go on the overview of warehouses, it is clearly mentioned over here that warehouses are required for queries, as well as DML operations, including loading of data into tables. Okay. A warehouse is defined by its size as well as the other properties that can be set to help control and automate warehouse activity. A warehouse can be started and stopped at any time. They can also be resized at any time, even while running to accommodate the need for more or less compute resources based on the type of operations being performed by the warehouse. So we'll try to understand all these uh, with a hands-on session. Okay, so let's get started and try to get our hands dirty. So first we'll move out to a worksheet. Um, this is a Snowflake sample database that resides into the Snowflake UI. Okay, and Snowflake provides it so that, you know, we can do our hands-on activities over here. For example, if there is a table over here named as customer in this, and we want to query, we at, at this present time, we have not selected any warehouse, we have not selected any database. So we'll just um, try to do a select on this Mm, table okay we have run this so it throws an error no active warehouse selected in the current session select an active warehouse with the uh, use warehouse command okay so basically there are two ways uh, if we have got any warehouse uh, already created we can um, assign it over here so from here you can see uh, We need to go to the sysadmin role and thereafter we can select the warehouse over here. So I, I already had two warehouses created. One was the compute and other one was prod. Okay, but uh, I'll try to show you how to create a new warehouse over here. So first is uh, you can see over here in the top menu over here, it sh shows a warehouses option. We'll have to click on this. So these were the two uh, warehouses, the prod, which I created and the compute underscore WH. This warehouse is by default provided by Snowflake whenever you create your account. Okay, so I'll try to create a new warehouse from here. So uh, as soon as you click on create, it uh, gives out this pop-up wherein you have to fill out all the details. For example, the name of the warehouse. Uh, I'm keeping it as um, test underscore Snowflake. Okay then it shows the size of the warehouse so basically there are eight sizes uh, which is provided by snowflake and um, for each size there is the amount of credit that will be utilized every hour so that is mentioned you can see the x small small medium x small is extra small small medium large extra large twice extra large 3x large 4x large okay so depending upon the your need you can choose the, the size of your cluster and uh, you can so for um, this um, uh, training hands-on session I'll use it as x small extra small so that um, the cost incurred is less so uh, for the maximum clusters you can select uh, from 1 to 10 okay I'll be selecting one over here scaling policy as to how you want to scale uh, will it be in standard or in economy you can select it as per your requirement okay and uh, auto suspend auto suspend is a feature which is provided by um, snowflake in which uh, for example if you are not performing any action on your uh, database or you are not performing any action on your warehouse so after a certain specific time 
your warehouse will get into a suspended mode so you will not be charged anything for that so uh, you can define the time anywhere from five minutes to never okay uh, by never we mean that your warehouse will always be up and will keep on running okay so uh, for example if your warehouse gets suspended at any point of time and uh, you feel that you have to execute an any query you don't need to do any manual intervention over here you just need to uh, run your select and the warehouse gets up automatically okay so uh, if you want you can put uh, uh, comment over here so this this was the feature that i told about auto resume uh, means whenever you, you run even if your warehouse is suspended it will be automatically resumed the next time a query is issued okay so in the comment you can uh, write anything or you can leave it uh, blank it is optional up to you uh, i'll say this is a test warehouse okay so uh, this is the way to create uh, uh, the warehouse you can just click on finish and it will be done but if you want to create it using sql you can use the show sql option over here if you show it it will give you the complete sql you can just copy it okay this complete sql you can copy it okay and thereafter rent on your way for now i'll create this test snowflake using the ui let's do it okay so we have this test snowflake warehouse created okay now we'll go to our worksheets and here we will select our warehouse so i've used the snowflake warehouse okay database uh, since we have already mentioned over here uh, we, it's optional for us we can select it or we can leave it in the similar way for the schema also so for now uh, i'll try to run it and we'll see that whether this error the below active warehouse error goes out or not okay so i've run and you can see it is running and here comes the data so uh, this clearly shows that our warehouse is created and it's up and running okay uh, so this was the first way in which we have created our uh, warehouse through the ui now we'll try to create our warehouse through uh, the sql that we copied so here you can see every all the details which we filled out on the ui is being uh, re is reflecting over here so it says create a warehouse create warehouse test underscore snowflake this was the name that we issued so let's put it as two over here because this is the second warehouse we are trying to create with warehouse size is equal to x small you can define your so, uh, size over here for example if you want to use small large extra large whatever you want you can define over here the warehouse type auto suspend okay uh, we had used uh, five minutes okay which is equal to 300 seconds auto resume is equal to true minimum cluster and all so uh, all the details if we just run it okay it's it shows over here that your test snowflake two successfully created now we can also see this there are two ways to see this either you can check it out over here directly you can see the test snowflake 2 this warehouse is created or you can directly go into your warehouse tab over here so this is the new one that was created okay so in addition to that you can also check out the time when it is being created so for example the first warehouse that we created from the ui it was created at 727 the other one which we created by the sql it was created at 729 so this shows how we can create our warehouse in a similar fashion if we want to run our uh, last sql okay uh, we can run it let's change uh, uh, let's, okay let's change it and use this uh, second snowflake warehouse that we created right now and let's run it on this so we see the data coming in now okay so this is how a warehouse is created and uh, uh, we can do it both through ui and we can do it both uh, through the sql also okay so now let's try to look on the cost factor of this okay and other things so for example uh, there are a few important things that we need to consider uh, the warehouses are built 
only for the credit usage when they are running. For example, when your warehouse is suspended, you will not be charged anything. The, uh, the credit numbers shown here are full hour of usage. However, credits are built per second. Within a 60 second, that is one minute minimum. Okay, so uh, this was the credit that I showed you on the screen over here. For example, when you were trying to create a warehouse, it was showing you the uh, credit as to how much uh, uh, you can see over here. The X large 16 credits, one credit per hour, two credit per hour, four credit per hour. So this is the same thing that is being reflected over here. So for X small, extra small, one, two, and similarly. So every time a warehouse is started or resized to a larger size, the warehouse is built for one minute. So the first time whenever you start a warehouse or whenever it is suspended and then it is started or when you resize it, it is charged for one minute. Thereafter, uh, it is charged on the hourly rate shown above. After one minute, all subsequent billing is per second. Stopping and restarting a warehouse within the first minute does not change the amount billed. The minimum billing charge is one minute. When a warehouse is increased in size, credits are billed only for the additional servers that are provisioned. For example, changing from small to medium results in billing change for one minute worth of two credits. I hope this is clear now, the complete concept of warehouse. Thank you, friends.